Motor Week Mighty, television's automotive magazine, with your host, John Davis. Well, hello, and welcome again to Motor Week 90. We're glad to have you with us. In 1935, the Toyota Automatic Loom Works, that's right, Loom Works, decided to get into the car business. Their first automobile was a blatant copy of the Chrysler Airflow. Their second model bore an uncanny resemblance to a Volvo PV60. Well, this is Toyota's latest product, the Previa. It's designed to compete with minivans from GM, Ford, and Chrysler, and it's not a copy of any of them. In fact, the Previa offers a few solutions to minivan problems that Detroit probably wouldn't even consider. The fact that the Toyota Previa is unconventional is obvious at the very first glance. Toyota has taken today's trend towards rounder, smoother van shapes to its logical extreme, producing a body that has been compared to everything from an egg to a football. But don't let the bullet shape fool you. At 68.7 inches tall and almost 71 inches wide, the Previa is not small. It rides on a 112.8-inch wheelbase that only stretched Chrysler and Ford Aerostar vans can beat. The generous size carries over to the inside with a large, exceptionally modern cockpit. The interior's most striking feature is the large, protruding center dash section that houses the stereo and climate controls and even a fuse panel. It looks like it belongs in a spaceship and includes a glove box as deep as a black hole. Climb aboard and you'll find a set of firm, supportive bucket seats. Both our LE's front and optional middle rows of bucket seats are adjustable, and both head and legroom are substantial. Rather than take the accepted route to more cargo space with removable rear seats, Toyota engineers hit on the novel idea of having them fold up and out of the way. This method adds a great deal of convenience, but when you need maximum cargo room, they are hard to take out. Getting back to the cockpit area, we find the unique dash housing a rather unique set of gauges. While large and well-marked, the cluster is also sparse, and the deep tunnel at rest end led some of our staff to complain of trouble focusing on the instruments. The heat and stereo controls are easy to reach in their protruding pod, and the optional 150-watt compact displayer produced enough bass to rattle the Previa's rear body panels. While we're up front, we might as well take a look for the engine. Surprise, it resides under the front seats. Toyota placed the 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder here to improve the Previa's weight distribution and wet road traction over that of other rear-drive vans. With 16 valves and dual overhead cams, it produces 138 horsepower and 154 pound-feet of torque. Look where the engine usually goes, and you'll find everything needed for normal maintenance. Those clever Toyota engineers routed everything up here, including an oil reservoir. It adds to the crankcase when needed. In our acceleration test, the Previa produced acceptable performance for a 3,500-pound minivan, reaching 60 miles per hour in 12.8 seconds. It wound up a quarter mile in 19.2 seconds at 72 miles per hour. About 20 more horsepower would be nice, though what is there comes on quickly and remains constant through the power band. The four-speed automatic transmission produces crisp shifts, and our test drivers complained of a long delay between them. Despite its aircraft-like appearance, the Previa handles like many other vans. Front plow is heavy and increases with speed, as does body roll. The power-assisted rack and pinion steering is quick for a van, but slows as tire scrub and body roll increase. Emergency maneuvers feel almost lethargic, with the Previa using up all of the available road on its recovery. The brakes on our LE-grade Previa are four-wheel discs that bring it to a stop from 60 and an average distance of 125 feet. There is some rear lockup and slight fade, but pedal feel is good, making it easy to maintain control. While four-wheel anti-locks are available as an option on LE-grade vans, the base deluxe grade uses drum brakes at the rear. Off-track, the Previa displays a comfortable highway ride. Interior sound measures a reasonable 69 decibels. Mileage is EPA rated at 18 city, 21 highway. We got 19 miles per gallon on our mixed test loop. Previa prices start at $13,998 for the deluxe trim level. Our LE has a base price of $18,698 and comes to $21,948 with all of its options. Add another $2,600 if you want your Previa LE to include all-wheel drive. 
This may sound steep, but remember that it includes features like twin sunroofs that you won't find on the competition. What you can get from the competition, like a comparably equipped Dodge Grand Caravan or Plymouth Grand Voyager, is a lower price and a standard V6 engine. But the Chryslers lack the Toyota's modern interior, have slightly less potential cargo space, and won't have a four-wheel drive option till 91 models arrive. The Mazda MPV is also less expensive than the Previa, and it too offers a V6 engine. Handling is superior to that of the Toyota, and four-wheel drive is optional, but it has a smaller interior. In our safety check, the Previa passes with rear shoulder belts and optional anti-lock brakes. It lacks airbags for either front seat occupants. Hit start with the Previa's modern styling. We also like its efficient interior design, novel fold-up rear seats, and comfortable ride. Misses include the high price, lack of a six-cylinder engine, odd gauges, and slow-shifting automatic transmission. With the Previa, Toyota has added something new to the Me Too minivan market, personality and true innovation. The Previa doesn't really do anything that any other minivan can't. It just does it in its own unique way. It should be a big success. One of the best